Hello everyone. Today, in this video, we will be covering some more topics from your math syllabus of the chapter Large Numbers. In the previous videos, we covered the topics like expanded form, face value, place value, predecessor and successor. In this video, we will be starting with the topic comparison of numbers. Now, if you remember, we have done comparison of numbers multiple times in the previous classes to compare which one is greater and which one is smaller. So, let's start with the rules of how we compare numbers. Number one, we compare the number of digits in each number. The number with the greater number of digits is greater. So, when we have two numbers, if one number has five digits and the other number has six digits, for example, then the six digit number is obviously greater than the five digit number. Let's see an example. Compare the numbers 73,89,210 and 3,16,430. So to make it easier for you, I will put these numbers in the place value chart. As you can see, the number on top has 7 digits while the number below has 6 digits. Therefore, by using rule number 1, 73 lakh 89,210 is greater than 316,430. Now we go to rule number 2. The number that comes later on the number line is the greater number. Let me explain to you what the number line is. A number line is when we write the numbers one after the other on a line starting from the left hand side. So in this number line here, I have started from 0 and as we are going towards the right, we are increasing the number 1 by 1. So you can easily understand from this number line that the number that is on the right hand side is greater than the number to its left. Like 2 is greater than 1, 3 is greater than 2, 7 is greater than 6 and so on. So suppose you have numbers like this, 5,41,263 and 5,41,266. So if we compare them in the number line, we will see that 5,41,263 comes first while 5,41,266 comes later. Therefore, 5,41,266 is greater than 5,41,263. Now let's move on to the third rule. When two numbers have the same number of digits, the value with the greater digit in the highest place is the greater number. Let me explain to you with an example. We have two numbers over here, 3,24,654 and 5,11,951. When we put them in the place value box, we see that they have the same number of digits. So we can't use rule number one over here. When we have the same number of digits, we compare the values in the highest place value. The highest place value here is lakh. So we compare the values inside the lakhs place. In one number we have 5 and in the other number we have 3. Since 5 is greater than 3, therefore 5,11,951 is greater than 3,24,654. I hope you were able to understand these three rules and how we can compare numbers. Now let's try ordering the numbers in using the same rules. Ordering of numbers. Let us arrange the numbers in ascending and descending order. I hope you remember ascending and descending order. Descending order is when the numbers are arranged from the greatest to the smallest. And ascending order is when the numbers are arranged from the smallest to the greatest. So when the numbers are given to you, as I always suggest, First, we will write them down in the place value chart. So here we go. We have six numbers over here and all six of them are six digit numbers. What we will do is we will start comparing the values. Let's start with the lakhs place. As you can see, for every number, the digit in the lakhs place is two. So we cannot make any comparison over here. So we move on to the next place value that is 10 thousands. Here we will look for the greatest number. So the greatest number here is 8 but we have 
two eights. So what do we do now? We go to the next place value that is thousands. Here in these two numbers only, in one number we have three and in the other number we have six. Since six is greater than three, so our greatest number is two lakh eighty six thousand two hundred and thirty, followed by two lakh eighty three thousand two hundred and eighty one. Now we go back to the ten thousands place. Here we can see that we have three numbers with five in the ten thousands place. That means once more we cannot make any comparison over here. So we go to the thousands place. Here the comparison is very easy. Seven is the greatest number here, so two lakh fifty seven thousand one hundred twenty eight is the greatest, followed by two lakh fifty six thousand seven hundred and twelve, and finally we have two lakh fifty three thousand seven hundred and twenty three. I hope I was able to explain these steps to you properly. If not, please repeat the video once more and try to understand how we compared the numbers in every place value. For your convenience, I have written down all the steps that so that you can read and understand it better. After completing all the steps, we finally have the numbers in descending and ascending order. In descending order, the greatest number is two lakh eighty six thousand two hundred thirteen, greater than two lakh eighty three thousand two hundred eighty one, greater than two lakh seventy one thousand eight hundred twenty one. Greater than two lakh fifty seven thousand one hundred twenty eight, greater than two lakh fifty six thousand seven hundred twelve, which is greater than two lakh fifty three thousand seven hundred and twenty three. Similarly, we also have the numbers in ascending order. If you notice, I have used greater than sign in descending order, and less than sign in the ascending order. So this is how I like to arrange the numbers in ascending and descending order. Here I have another example for you, where I have. Four numbers. They are asked to arrange the numbers in descending order. So we will start with the greatest number. In the back space, the greatest number is three lakh fifty six thousand two hundred and twelve. So that's easy. Next, we have two twos in the lakh space. So we move on to the ten thousands place. From there, we can see that two lakh sixty five thousand three hundred sixty five is the next greater number, and after that, two lakh forty five thousand six hundred sixty three is is the next greatest number. And finally, we are left with one lakh fifty-two thousand four hundred and eighty-seven. Here also, I have used greater than signs to denote that we are writing it in descending order. Now, we move on to another topic in this chapter, which is called building numbers. Numbers can be built using available digits. So, if you are provided with a set of digits. Six digits or seven digits, we can build numbers using those digits. There are two ways in which numbers can be built: with repetition and without repetition. Before I show you an example, let me explain to you the rules that we are going to follow while building numbers. Suppose we want to build the greatest number using a number of digits that is provided to us. So what do we do? When repetition of digits is allowed. that means you are allowed to repeat a digit again and again we choose the greatest number from the numbers provided and repeat it in all the place value boxes when repetition of digits is not allowed we arrange the numbers provided in descending order that is from the greatest to the smallest so i will explain this to you once more if repetition of digits is allowed then we simply choose the greatest number from all the numbers provided to us and repeat that same number in all the place value boxes so if we are building a six digit number we place the greatest number in all the place values and when repetition of digits is not allowed we arrange the given numbers from the greatest to the smallest for the smallest number let's see what are the rules when repetition of digits is allowed we choose the smallest number from the number provided and repeat it in all the place value boxes just opposite of what we do for the greatest number and when repetition of digits is not allowed we arrange the numbers provided in ascending order that is from the smallest to the greatest let's see an example build a number using the digits 1 3 5 7 9 and 2 So let us try building a six-digit number. 
First we will start with the greatest number. Let's first make the place value chart and then we will arrange the numbers. So here we have the numbers. As you can see when repetition is allowed we choose the greatest number that is 9 and repeated it in all the place value boxes. And when repetition is not allowed we arrange the numbers in descending order that means from the greatest to the smallest. So when repetition is allowed we have 9,99,999 and when repetition is not allowed we have 9,75,321. Now let's build the smallest number. As I mentioned if repetition is allowed we pick the smallest digit that is 1 and repeat it in all the place values. So we have 1,11,111 and when repetition is not allowed we arrange the numbers in ascending order. So we have 1,23,579. Now let us see another example. So here I have an important note for you. If the smallest number in a group of numbers is 0, we cannot use it to build a number because a number cannot start with 0. If you remember, when we are building the smallest number and if the smallest number is 0, we will have to repeat 0 in all the place values, which is not a valid number. So what do we do? We choose the second smallest number after 0 and use that in the highest place value, that is in the beginning of the number instead of 0. So instead of choosing 0 as the smallest number, we pick the second smallest number just after 0 and use that in the beginning of a number, just in the beginning of a number. Let's see how. Example, build a number using the digits 340672. So let's do the greatest number. This is easy. When repetition is allowed, we have 7,77,777 because 7 is the greatest number from the numbers provided. And when repetition is not allowed, the number is 7,64,320. Now let's find the smallest number. As I said, we cannot repeat 0 in all the place values. So in the last place, the highest place value, we write the second smallest number that is 2 and then we fill the rest with 0. So the smallest number when repetition is allowed, we have 2 lakh and when repetition is not allowed, we have 2 lakh 3464. Once again, here instead of starting the number with 0, we started it with 2 and then put the 0 in the second position. So this is how we build numbers by following the simple rules. Now I have an exercise for you which you can easily solve by using the rules that we learned in this video. Here in the first question we have fill in the boxes with greater than or less than to compare the numbers. So you can use the place value chart here. So once you go through the rules that I mentioned once more it will be easy for you to solve this question. In question number 2 and 3 we have arranged the following numbers in ascending and descending order. I advise you to use the place value chart for every single question. It will make it easier for you to solve the question and arrange the numbers. Next we have write the greatest and the smallest 6 digit number possible without repeating any digits. So here in the question they have mentioned that you cannot repeat the digits. So you only have to find the greatest and the smallest six digit number without repetition. In question number five we have find the greatest and smallest seven digit number possible without repeating the digits. Once again you cannot repeat the digits and here you have seven digits instead of six. Finally in question number six we have build the smallest and greatest six digit number possible repetition of digits is allowed. I hope you will be able to solve these questions easily I will provide you the answers to all these exercises at the end of the chapter. So till then, try solving these questions. That's all for today. Thank you.